Hello there, in this video I will show you how to subtitle a video in a simple manner for free. And in this case, as an example, I will use a clip of my favourite comedy show, The British Parliament. I take this opportunity to remind members of the words of Eskin May, good temper and moderation of the characteristics. Essentially, how do we add this to any video you may like? So the software that I use in this case is Hegisub. It's very easy to use. It's open source and is free. You can just go to hegisub.org, uh, download the software. It's a very simple installation. I won't waste much time here. Once you open the software, this is what you see. And first thing you need to do is adjust the settings. Essentially, if you are working for a client, it's good practice for them to send you a list of settings that you need to implement. That's, for instance, the number of characters per line and things like that. For that, you just need to click in this button, looks like a hammer and a tool. Character count is usually where you do these adjustments. Each client might give you a different guideline. But if you are just working on a personal project, one thing you can do is go to Netflix. Go to Netflix and check Time Textile Guide. It will give you some basic guidelines on how to do subtitling if you need. In case you aren't sure on how to proceed. In this case, for instance, you can select English if that's the language you work into. This will give you like a set of simple rules. And in this case, you can see 42 characters per line, which is what I've got here. So always double check with your client. Click OK. Now, how do you add a video to IAG Sub? It's very simple. In this case, I'll use the clip that you just saw. I grab the file and I just drag it into IAG Sub. You can decide how large you want this to be while you are working, up to you. 37.5, 75%, depending on the size of your screen. I like to keep it at 50%. Another thing I like to do is to select these three options and deselect all the rest so that you can have this waveform which shows you where the speaker starts talking. So it's good practice to always start your subtitles close to the moment the speaker is starting to speak. And then you see you can just click on this line and you can start working here. So let's hear what he has to say. I take this opportunity to remind members of the words. And you can start if you are translating. In this case, I am. And so forth. So if you want to then add a new line, right click this one, insert after. And it's good to keep a distance between the two lines. So you can see this one ends after five seconds, it's always good to add at least 0.2 seconds to the next line. So I can come here and adjust it as necessary. Essentially, you can work here. I'm deciding that I want this line to start here. And the blue line that you see here, you can adjust where this will disappear. Then the li next line as well, you can adjust it while you are listening to it. You need to practice a little bit, but I think after a while you start getting it. Just a very good tip as well. If you want a quick way to break the line, you can add the slash N and then type whatever you need. And you can see here that you have a line break. I'm going to add the subtitles for the full clip and I'll come back in a second. So this is it. You can see I've translated the first first two lines and you can see here where it stops and where it finishes. You can also see that I always have a distance between the previous line and the line afterwards. Remind members of the words of Eskimo: May, good temper and moderation of the characteristics of the parliamentary debate. I think you get the idea, so you can do some practice and you will get there. Just a couple more things to keep in mind. So you have here the different lines. And if you look here to the right hand side, you can see the character limitation. So this 41 means that on each of these lines, the longest line in this case has 41 characters. So 
if you keep adding you can see it will turn to red when it goes over 42 which is what we have determined at the beginning of the project and here in red is the characters per second so when you go above 17 in this case once again let's have a look i have set the threshold to 17. when it goes above that number you can see it in red when this happens it's good practice to find a way to somehow shorten the sentences or just you know create a new line after and just break this just take this to the next line whatever you it's, it's it's up to you to find a way now to export the subtitles there are two common types of file that you can use the srt is one of the most common types of subtitling files that you will find most of my clients just request the srt the srt just records where the line breaks are where the line breaks are pretty much everything that you see here but it will not save any type of font size or font color any of that that's something that the client can do at a later point to export as an srt file just come to file export subtitles export and i'm just going to give a name i'll call it test.srt save go to the folder you can double click it if you need to open it will take you straight to IAG sub and if at a later point you need to do any adjustments you can just do the same thing just grab the video once again it will be perfectly in sync and you can work on it as you wish but let's say you want to have a certain color a certain font how do you do that first come to subtitle styles manager and this is where you are going to create a script that contains pretty much all those features that you want in your text just click new i'm going to call this one test and this is where you select the size of the font the color of the font um, you can work on this as as you wish let's just do arial black just give you an example size 40 uh, bold here you can select the position if you keep it as it is it will place it at the bottom as it is normal but sometimes you may need to place it uh, to the top this is where you work on that so here the align when you click an eight this will come to the top but let's keep it in two which is like the traditional place let's click apply and okay now click copy to current script it will come to this side the right hand side of your screen close Now, if you click on the line and you come to subtitle and styling assistant you can select the styling that you just created so you can see the difference so if i go back to default it will appear like this and the one that i just created is here now you can see the difference you can apply this to all the lines and then export the file in a different format if you export it as an srt as we've just done it will not save this font that you have created just now the way you do now instead is go to file save subtitles as and you can save in this format ass is a pretty unfortunate name but it is what it is click save there you go now you have this new file this one will keep the fonts anything you have created anyway depending on your type of project having the srt file or the ass file is all that you need so if that's the case congratulations you are done however in some cases you may want to actually have the subtitles embedded into the video so if i double click you will see that it's i take this opportunity to remind it's still as it was initially so the subtitles are not showing up at the bottom that's because iag sub and most of other subtitling software are not designed for that type of task for that you need something to burn the 
subtitling file into the video just so that you get the video just like the one that I showed you at the start of this tutorial. Let's have a quick look. I take this opportunity to remind members of the words of Erskine May, good temper and moderation are the characteristics of the parliamentary debate. I expect to see that reflected. Anyway, you get the idea. So how do we actually add the subtitles to the video itself? So for that, you need to use a different type of software. And if you want to learn more on how to do that, just click the video that is showing up on screen right now.